that little montage was two things I wanted to, to address. I was using a GoPro before and it doesn't have any autofocus. So now I'm using my D850 with a, uh, an autofocus lens on it. So you should be able to, like, if I get closer, further away, it should, it should jump pretty quick. I don't know how quickly, how aggressively it's autofocusing, but it should do a better job. And the other thing is I picked up a microphone that should be a higher quality. There's a lot of, uh, of echo and reverb in the, uh, in the mic I was using before. So this should be better. Finger crossed, we'll see. Hey everybody, I'm back again. Uh, I just wanted to uh, back again. Um, thank you for just all the support. I did not expect that at all. But uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today was something called the uh, the Hero Clip. It's simple and complex in its own ways. It's the great great grandson of the carabiner. Everybody knows what these are. They've been around forever. I use these all the time for all sorts of stuff from everything from working out to camera stuff to hiking and camping. It's super useful, you know, it's just you have the strength of the metal and the accessibility of the little gate. And they make all sorts of kinds. There's uh there's lockable ones and just like these that are just, you know, it's just holding itself shut. But there's all sorts. It's a little bit different. I'd like to go over why I think this is an invaluable tool. I think it's uh it's something and super cool it's very simple and it just it gets the job done so let's uh let's take a minute and check it out thanks man so what makes the hero clip really unique and interesting it does it does have a lot in common with a regular carabiner it's got a, uh, a hinged wire gate on it which you can use to uh to clip it to things um if you have this random titanium container but yeah, you can you know, hang stuff by it. Looks pretty cool. Um, I like the design elements of it. They, they come in a bazillion different colors. They have like blue and green and all black and they come in three sizes. This is the medium sized one. This one's right in the middle, but they're smaller and bigger. Zombie, what are you looking for? What are you looking for, buddy? Go play, get out of here. Oh, but they come in all sorts of sizes and shapes. But what makes this super unique and the, uh, the really cool part about it is that if you if you open the uh, little wire gate, there's a swivel, and now you've got this open, and you can twist this in 360 degrees all the way around. And what makes it really cool is that you can use it to hang your bag or you know whatever gear you have if you had something and you don't want it to be on the floor. Um, let me grab my backpack. So what that lets you do. If you're a guy who doesn't have a purse, not that there's anything wrong with that. If you want to carry a purse, that's your call. But if you, uh, if you don't have a purse and you have a backpack, then it makes it really easy to just clip on there and you can hang it from, you know. Um, the main thing I use it for is at like coffee shops. Usually the floors in coffee shops are pretty rough. I don't know. Yeah, even off my workbench. Look at that. I totally thought that was going to fall down, but it didn't. Um, so there. There's a great example of the versatility of the Hero Clip right there. Um, no overhang at all on this workbench, and it's still that little claw part is rubberized, so it gives it a lot of uh, a lot of traction. And because this swivel can rotate, you can move your bag around to fit in whatever surface it's against. It's a great idea. It's super smart. It's very you know, it's just it's a carabiner with you know a little bit more a little bit more going on. You know, nothing, nothing groundbreakingly insane. Just really well done. It doesn't have to be crazy. Yeah, there's no, there's no electronics. There's no motor. There's no nothing in here. Good old, you know, physics and good engineering. But really well done. It's all made out of aluminum, so it's, uh, it's pretty lightweight. I carry, I keep one clipped into the uh, shoulder strap on my backpack when I'm out walking around. It makes it a lot easier to stow your gear. Plus, a lot of times if the ground's all gross and you know you're in a coffee shop and the ground's just disgusting, or you know anywhere on a bus, in a restaurant, you know waiting, waiting somewhere, doing whatever. If the ground's really gross, sometimes like if I'm in a restaurant or a coffee shop, I'll put my bag on a chair, and then sometimes places are super crowded and there's just you know there's nowhere for anybody to sit, and then it sucks, you know. And then you know the the right thing to do is just put your bag on the ground, let someone else have a chair. That's that's you know the right thing to do. But with this, now you have, you know, it's a win-win. Both people win. Someone gets a seat and you get to uh, keep your stuff off the ground and not get weirdo, gross, eight-month-old oh coagulated coffee all over the place. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I was totally looking for this. It's one of those uh, 
those needles for inflating stuff. I have a, uh, a speed bag that I needed to use that on. I didn't know where it was. I'm gonna put it right there and I will probably forget completely where it is. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, simple idea. Um, they're not super expensive, really cool idea. And just, you know, well put together. Well thought out. Uh, it's called the Hero Clip. I'll put a link in the description to where you can go and buy them. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I think they just started selling the smaller and bigger ones. This one is the medium sized in orange. But I know they come in like green and blue and red and black and all sorts of different colors. And they have three different sizes. I'll try to put a picture like, like right here of the three different sizes so you can tell. But... I just thought it was a cool idea. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments and uh, let me know what you thought about the new, the mic and the, uh, the autofocus lens. Like hopefully this may completely be either not in focus or in focus. I don't know. I think that's a cool part of any kind of vlog. Like when you have that, uh, it makes you feel like you're there a little bit more. Like the GoPro as my main camera felt very sterile. It felt very just kind of like, uh, like it was just it wasn't doing you know there's no organicness to it it doesn't have that focus like it's like you know when you're talking to someone in real life they like move back and forth and your eyes kind of focus and unfocus so it's my way of getting a little closer to you all i am going to try to put up a video every day or every couple days um i don't know how realistic of a goal that is but i'm going to give it a shot hopefully i get faster the editing is usually the part that takes me the longest and uh goes the slowest out of the whole thing Hello, well, a zombie. A zombie's being surprisingly quiet today. Hey, buddy, where'd you go? What are you doing? It's really hot today. It's like super hot. I don't... Here, hold on a second. According to the internet, it is 66 degrees outside. It feels like it's like 80 in here. I gotta get the windows open. But it was, uh, it was 50 degrees this morning when I went out to get coffee. I took him for it, and you know what? 50 degrees is too cold for me. I don't know, I, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are like, 50 is nothing, but to me, that's, it's too cold. If you want, sound off in the comments and let me know where you all are from. It'd be cool to hear about the different places that you all live in. Tell me how cold it is where you live, or hot. It'd be cool to hear about. Tommy, what are you doing? Come here, come here. All right, Tommy, what's this? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's over here? What's that? <gasps> he doesn't care. Well, for me and Zombie, wherever you are, you're comfortable and warm or cold or whatever you prefer, and uh, we'll catch you later. Hey everybody, so I just finished editing the review you just saw of the Hero Clip, and I wasn't real happy with the uh, performance of the Yeti mic or the Nikon 10mm by 20mm, so I returned both of those and got a Nikkor 35mm lens and an Audio-Technica AT2020 mic and I think both of these are going to sound better. The, the lens is going to have a much better depth of field and the Audio-Technica I just have a better feeling about but stay tuned for the next video and we will see how they go. Oh and if you dig my stuff please keep liking and subscribing I appreciate all the feedback. Alright have a good one.